Tell me about you guys. Looks like it works. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And today we're with a helmet. Yeah, we're gonna do some work on our helmet today. As you can see, working on this one. And in particular, we're working on the scratches that are all over the visor. Hopefully you guys can, this camera's picking it up. But there are scratches all over this visor. And I got two options. Option one, buy another one, which is not a big deal. I could buy one and replace it, it's not a big deal. Or I could try this headlight restore kit and see if it'll actually clean it up. I got the idea for cleaning that. I was messing with the, the visor of the GPZ and you can see I've got a tape line right about right here where this uh, windshield was all scratched up. And so what I did is I said, let me try it. Let me just try the headlight restore on it and see if I can beat down some of these scratches. So you can still see them, they're still there but they're just a little shallower. I'm gonna come back and try to see if I can get that out. But look, I only did this section right here, but look at the difference. And this scratch continued. This, the worst part was on this side, and it continued. So I said, wow, if it did that good on that, what could it do on this? And if I can save my helmet visor, it's worth it. Now, huge disclaimer. Do I recommend anybody do this? I don't know, watch the whole video, let's find out. But what, if you're looking at replacing it, well, shouldn't you try to repair it first? So we're gonna use the headlight restore kit from Meguiar's, you can use any one. This is not a paid ad. If Meguiar wants to send me a check, link in the description below. It has two different grades of sandpaper, 1,000 and 3,000. And then you follow it up with the Plastic X polish with, uh, this brush, wool pad, and then you put this sealer on top. Sit back, relax, let's see if this thing works. Little sprayway glass cleaner. We're gonna start with the 1000 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna use a little sprayway on it just to keep it smooth. We're gonna focus on this guy right here. I don't think I'm gonna get it all off. See what we're starting to look like. Okay, guys, I'm gonna see if I can accelerate the process. Okay guys, that was a game changer. Now did it, did it work? The scratches aren't as deep. I can barely feel these here. Look, that's what I was looking for. You see that haze that's there? I'm gonna go through a little bit more because I can get those out. I can get that one. This may be a crack. I'm gonna try again. Definitely feels smoother all the way around. So let's move up to the next grit. Okay, we're gonna move up to 3000 grit sandpaper. 
Now, we're going to stick with the drill. We're going to stay on this. Let's see if we can get this smooth. Yeah, it looks it definitely looks like fine scratches are gone. Let me get the inside of this. And I've got this these up here are way smaller than what they were before. I mean I can barely feel that one with my nail. I guess I could probably go a little deeper if I wanted to. Let's try polishing it up, see what happens. Guys, this is not the proper way to do this. Let's go at it. Let's wipe it. Get a clean towel. It looks considerably better. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's it's way better. I think it looks considerably better than what it did prior. Okay, guys, so here we are. We're on the, the sealant stage of this game. A couple of drops on to the pad, and you just wipe it on. It says to go from the top to the bottom, bottom to the top, doesn't matter. But let's see, we'll just wipe this sucker on. I may have put on too much. We'll flip the applicator over and use the dry side to kind of. Takes about 15 minutes to dry. So guys, there you have it. This is the completed helmet. I don't know about you guys. Looks like it works. Looks like it worked. Okay guys, here was the main big scratch, which you can still see a little bit at certain angles. Like right there, that's where it is. That's the main big scratch. But remember it had all these little fine scratches all around it that we took care of. It is way better, considerably better. So. Looks like I'll get maybe another season out of this visor. Did this work? I think so. I think it made a difference. It worked here, but if it saves you from having to go buy a new one and we can repair versus replace, why not, right? So, I don't know. This was the fun video. It was an experiment. Didn't know if it was gonna work, I, uh, but I know where they sell these visors if it didn't work. So guys, Thanks for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. Do me a favor, like, tag, share, and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind and hit the subscribe button. And if you're in the subscribing mood, go ahead and wander on over to our buddies, Brickhouse Builds, Moto Mango, Gold Guy, Ace Cafe Bikes, Mile Zero Racers, and Plan B Motos and give them a subscribe. Thanks again, guys, and you have a great day.